I think what every clinician should take out of these studies uh, from the Mary Collaborative is that before you consent a patient to re-irradiation, that every patient should be run through the RPA algorithm to just get, again, it's not perfect, but it's the best we have to try to get a, a, an accurate sense of how patients can be expected to do, whether they have surgery or they don't have surgery, when their recurrence happened, what's their functional status with feeding tubes or breathing tubes, into some sense of what is your outcome gonna look like if we treat you. And by doing that, it'll just much better inform that conversation of the risks and the benefits of treatment. That's the first step. I think the, ste the second kind of primary feature that this will inform all radiation oncologists about is that there are now two legitimate ways to re-irradiate patients. There's IMRT, which has been around for kind of a while. There's SBRT, which is a newer technology that's kind of less adopted and a lot of people are less comfortable with. But now there's a pretty large data set showing safety and some, some reasonable efficacy to either of these. And that both of these are very legitimate treatment options to consider when you make decisions for, with patients. I myself do both of these in my practice. And I think that physicians should start trying to get comfortable with both types and try to use this data to help guide um, patient selection for which or the other or neither that they may use.